Hello guys and welcome back. This is part 5 of a series of videos I'm doing about the minimum data set you need to obtain in order to perform an echocardiogram. In this video we are going to continue with the apical views focusing on the apical 2 and 3 chamber views. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start. Let's start with the apical 2 chamber view. I'm going to show you one by one all the minimum data set you need to obtain when you get to this view. First, obtain an apical 2 chamber view and perform a visual assessment of the cardiac chambers the left ventricle and the left atrium. Also visually assess the mitral valve anatomy and the left ventricular wall motion. And don't forget to have a look at the pericardium and the left atrial appendage. Now obtain a zoom view of the left ventricle and perform a visual assessment of the left ventricular wall motion. Analyze the longitudinal and radial systolic function of the inferior wall and anterior wall. In this same view, assess the left ventricular volume. Left ventricular volumes should be obtained using 2D imaging from apical 4 chamber and 2 chamber views. Measure the left ventricular volume at end of diastole and end of systole. Trace the endocardial border and take care to ensure papillary muscles and trabeculations are excluded from the volumes and considered part of the chamber. All measurements need to be indexed to body surface area. Now continue and perform a left atrial volume assessment. Biplane left atrial volumes should be estimated using 2D imaging from apical 4 chamber and 2 chamber views. Trace the inner aspect of the left atrial wall and exclude the left atrial appendage and pulmonary veins. All measurements need to be indexed to body surface area. Now use color doppler to assess the flow across the mitral valve. As part of the mitral regurgitation assessment, look for abnormal turbulent or regurgitant flow with color doppler. Now let's continue with the apical tree chamber view. I'm going to show you one by one all the minimum data set you need to obtain when you get to this view. First, obtain an apical tree chamber view and perform a visual assessment of the cardiac chambers, the left ventricle and the left atrium. Also assess the mitral valve anatomy aortic valve anatomy and the left ventricular wall motion. And don't forget to have a look at the pericardium and the left ventricular outflow tract. Obtain a zoom view of the left ventricle and perform a visual assessment of the left ventricular wall motion. Analyze the longitudinal and radial systolic function of the inferolateral wall and the anterior septum. And to finalize, use color doppler to assess the blood flow across the mitral valve and the aortic valve. As part of the mitral and aortic regurgitation assessment, look for abnormal turbulent or regurgitant flow. Also, assess the flow across the left ventricular outflow tract and look for laminar or turbulent flow. 
Now I'm going to show you on a video all the minimum data set you need to obtain when you get to the apical two chamber and three chamber views. Let's start with the apical two chamber view and perform a visual assessment of the cardiac chambers, the left ventricle and the left atrium. Assess the mitral valve anatomy, the pericardium and the appendage. Now obtain a zoom view of the left ventricle and visually assess the inferior wall motion and the anterior wall motion. Look for any regional wall motion abnormalities of the basal segments, middle segments and apical segments. Now you can assess the left ventricular volume. Trace the endocardial border to obtain the left ventricular end of diastolic volume. This measurement needs to be obtained from the apical four chamber and two chamber views in order to obtain the ejection fraction by symptoms biplane method. Now trace the endocardial border in systole to obtain the left ventricular end of systolic volume. Remember to exclude papillary muscles and trabeculations and to index the measurements to body surface area. Now continue with the assessment of the left atrial volume. Trace the inner aspect of the left atrial wall from the apical four chamber and two chamber views to obtain the biplane volume of the left atrium. Index this measurement to body surface area. Now use color Doppler to assess the blood flow across the mitral valve. Look for abnormal, turbulent or regurgitant flow. Now obtain an apical tree chamber view and perform a visual assessment of the cardiac chambers, the left ventricle and the left atrium. Also assess the mitral valve, the aortic valve and the left ventricular outflow tract and analyze the inferolateral wall motion and the anteroseptal wall motion. And to finalize, use color Doppler to assess the blood flow across the mitral valve, the aortic valve and the left ventricular outflow tract. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. See you on another video, bye!